Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Haight, Independent Scentsy Consultant, back with you again today for Milter's Mixers. It's been a while, uh, but I had some extra time during the melting challenge. I was really on that. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what, let's do some Melter's Mixers since you guys were amazing enough to share some of the wax bars with me that I didn't actually have for some of these. It made it possible. So... Here we go, you guys. <laughs> so the first one that I worked on, this was a suggestion by Megan Nelson. And she suggested putting together Sand Swept and Honeymoon Hideaway. And Honeymoon Hideaway, I got this bar from Brenda Summers. And um, this Sand Swept bar I got from Amy Jackson from um, Amy Sensen Songs. So thanks so much, you guys, for making this possible. And Megan, this was a lovely mixture. Um, now, Honeymoon Hideaway is actually very light for me. Even, I'm not sure how well cured this is. But I assume it's been at least since the one Bring Back My Bar. And that's got to have been like a year. Uh, I mostly smelled Sand Swept, which doesn't hurt my feelings. Because you guys know that's one of my all-time favorite <laughs> bars is Sand Swept. I thought it was beautiful. I'm not sure that I, I should have probably done it alternating instead of one to one. That might have worked better. Oh, but Honeymoon Hideaway is a very pretty scent. I just wish that it was a lot stronger. Um, but it was lovely to mix it with sand swept. The only thing is, I think I only mostly smelled sand swept, but oh, I love sand swept so much. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, Definitely, if you're able to smell Honeymoon Hideaway a little bit better than I am, definitely give that a try if you happen to still have this from the Bring Back My Bar. Write it down if you happen to see those bars. Um, so thank you, Megan Nelson. That was very lovely. It was probably, I consider Sand Sweat to be a medium strength, probably 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10. And, I mean, that's probably the strength that it was. Now, I did it one-to-one -one ratio in eight warmers downstairs. I loved it, but <laughs> that being said, I pretty much only smelled <laughs> sand swept. So, it was probably sand swept enhanced a little, but wasn't enough for me to actually notice, notice. But I enjoyed it. Okay, the next suggestion was from Lily Grant, and it was to mix... I gotta find my other bar because I did several mixes here and some used <laughs> extra bars. So I had this bar of lemon coconut chiffon that I got from Alyssa. Sorry, the oils <laughs> tend to rub off, but lemon coconut chiffon is basically a lemon cupcake with some coconut in it. It's so good. It's one of my all time favorite. You guys know that. That's why Alyssa gifted this to me. Um, but Lily suggested putting together lemon coconut chiffon for a lemon strawberry shortcake. Lemon coconut chiffon, um, cutie pie cupcake. This one I got from Brenda Summers as well. Bubbling over scents with Brenda. Oops. So I did three cubes. I did three cubes. So I had three cubes left of this one, the lemon coconut chiffon. And I used three cubes of the coastal strawberry and um, three of Cutie Pie Cupcake. Coastal Strawberry is one that I had from a bundle. I don't really like this one. It doesn't smell like much to me. Oh, what does that remind me of? It's like a strawberry fruit roll up. <laughs> it's kind of what it reminds me of. And it's like the fruit leather kind that you would get from GNC, not like the fun <laughs> fruit roll-ups with all the sugar in them in the grocery store. Like these are the fruit leathers that you would get specifically from like GNC or from a health food. <laughs> like not much sugar, if any. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a huge Coastal Strawberry fan, but I did. Oh, and Cutie Pie Cupcake. It smells like Fruit Loops to me. <laughs> it just smells like Fruit Loops. Yeah, I just, I get Fruit Loops from that. Like I can't unsmell Fruit Loops. So this was a lovely mixture, girls. Um, Lily and Dale loved it. He's like, whatever is going on upstairs, I did this in the office. 
um, in, the, in the bathroom. The, I have two warmers up there currently going. Um, so I did three cubes in one warmer, three cubes in the other warmer. And in the third cube, I cut in half and I did three half cubes in, so it was like a cube and a half in my mini warmer in my bathroom and the other mini warmer in the office area. Uh, this was gorgeous. I have to say the way that Coastal Strawberry works with lemon coconut chiffon and cutie pie cupcake was magical. It was truly magical. It was like a strawberry lemon shortcake and I actually really loved it. I love it better than, what's the one Scentsy came out with? Um, strawberry, is was it a lemon strawberry shortcake? What was the scent of the month? I didn't really like it. Um, you guys know, whatever that scent of the month was. Was it May? April, May scent of the month, the shortcake one? This is better to me. So if you happen to get your hands on from either one of the bundles that Scentsy does, the Coastal Strawberry Cutie Pie Cupcake and Lemon Coconut Chiffon, give that a try because Lily Grant, that was great. And I'm so happy that I tried that. So I, I used up the rest of this Lemon Coconut Chiffon, but <laughs> I still have like um, partial clams of Coastal Strawberry and Cutie Pie Cupcake. And I actually have more bars of that and I would totally be willing to try that again. So. Thank you, Lily. That was wonderful. That was very wonderful. I love that. So thank you. <laughs> Definitely try that, you guys. It was great. Um, and then, um, oh, I know what. <laughs> so I had some more cubes. I did four cubes um, of this one and four, I had four cubes. And then I did one, two, three, and I must have only used, I must have only Anyways, it worked out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It was a partial clam when I was using it. But again, this lemon coconut sh chiffon was from Alyssa. And this blueberry pancakes was from Virginia. Oh. Um, so Leslie Phillips recommended putting together um, blueberry pancakes with lemon coconut chiffon. This was fun. But because blueberry pancakes has a tendency to go kind of like burning wire. No, that's more, it's got this burnt note. Um, it's French toast that smells more like burning wires. This has like a toast, kind of like um, sweet plum pastry has like this burnt berryness. I don't know how old this bar is, Virginia. <laughs> um, but it's matured a little bit. And gosh, it's been like at least a year since it, this was in Bring Back My Bar. Um, so the blueberry, like when I first melted this, when it was first came out in Bring Back My Bar, it was almost this very artificial blueberry and it was very light and I didn't smell the pancakes. Well, now you smell the pancakes. Maybe that's what kind of smells toasty. Maybe it's like you put butter in your pan and you made your pancakes, but maybe the heat was too high and they got a little burned. Um, not so much that they're not edible, but you know that kind of really, it's not that it's burned. I hate to make it sound like that, but it got very, Toasted. <laughs> the blueberry does, and it's more authentic blueberry now. So, anyways, it was very nice, but it was more, it came off more fall to me than summer. Like, I was totally thinking this would be summer, but because of that, I don't know, almost nearly overcooked pancake butter, burnt butter, and don't make it. I hate to make that sound bad because it's not. <laughs> it's not like it's burned to where you don't like it. It's burned to where it's like you're glad you didn't cook it any longer. Um, kind of like sometimes how you can do toast too long and you're glad it didn't toast any longer, but it's still, you can eat it and it's not terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, it got that and it made it feel so full. This was pretty strong uh, because I did it down here 
and I still smelled and in fact I did it out here and I did another one at the same time in there oh yeah it was this one yeah um because I thought it was gonna smell more like blueberry lemon so it was out here <laughs> believe it or not and I could smell this all the way in my bedroom like when I would walk out of my bedroom, I could smell this. But to me, again, it, it smelled like fall versus summer. So I actually enjoyed it. I kind of hated to take it out because the next morning I could still smell it and it reminded me of fall. And I'm in a big hurry to go into fall. I think because it's too hot and humid. And I'm trying not to rush summer, but I'm really not a summer person. I could totally live in cold weather all the time because I am, I love sweaters and I love being all cozy and warm and layers and hiding my, you know, my fluff <laughs> in clothing versus summer where you're like, I'm hot and I don't care. <laughs> so yeah. So Leslie, that was lovely. Um, and I think because it's not a fresh pour, but if you want something that's more summery versus fall, Maybe instead of blueberry pancakes, do like blueberry rush or um, I don't think it'd have the same bakery effect with Aladdin Three Wishes because that one has like a slight cotton candy note in it. So like maybe blueberry rush if you want more of a summery version, but if you like the fall kind of um, toasted note in it, then do blueberry pancake. So I thought it was very nice. <laughs> actually and I would do that again in the fall because I actually like the effect that it had so just like fall bakery <coughs> now in the living room <laughs> interestingly enough so I had four cubes of um, clean breeze and oh yes okay and um, this is a suggestion by Eve and she said to do clean breeze mixed with my only sunshine this one no I take it back you guys at the same time I was doing doing blueberry pink sorry <laughs> blueberry pancakes and so Eve hang on <laughs> um, blueberry pancakes and coconut lemon chiffon uh, in my living room I did um, this was a suggestion by Betsy slash BA space BF <laughs> on YouTube um, and she recommended putting together Vanilla suede and toasted marshmallow. Oh, I loved this. I can't remember if I've taken this out of my club or not. Toasted marshmallow. The club that this is in didn't lose any bars. And I, if you guys are wondering, I still haven't heard back from Sensi. Doesn't surprise me because of SFR. <laughs> um, I think that got over today. People are on their way home, so maybe tomorrow <laughs> they might respond about their mistake, not mine. But I think Toasted Marshmallow is in my quarterly club that didn't lose any bars. It was just my monthly and my bi-monthly that lost bars because that one wasn't due until September anyway. Um, so I had Toasted Marshmallow for my club. And this, and I apologize that, that I cannot read who gave me this. I want to say it's Jeanette, but I cannot read. Like it, it's gone. <laughs> um, but she gave me vanilla suede. Someone gave me vanilla suede. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This is so good. Uh, vanilla suede is currently in one of my clubs. <laughs> uh, that bar didn't get lost because it was a recent bring back my bar. And if I still have toasted marshmallow, I will be doing this a lot more. This was so decadent. Uh, if you love vanilla oud, you would love this. Uh, anybody, anybody that loves the campfire marshmallowy vanilla suede and toasted marshmallow is amazing. <laughs> amazing. I'm so happy I got to try that. I hope I still have this bar. If not, I have two more. Um, Oh, definitely try that. That was so good. 
And I actually liked how it worked with the coconut lemon chiffon and the blueberry pancakes that were very fall toasty. Um, it all actually worked really well together. That was a nice medium strength, despite, uh, I would almost say that one, Leslie, that you picked the lemon coconut chiffon and the blueberry pancakes, I would almost say that's eight out of 10. It was pretty strong. Um, it, if it's not strong, strong to people, <laughs> uh, but I don't, see, I don't think painted leaves is all that bad. <laughs> um, like everybody else. So Maybe I'm not a good guide. <laughs> uh, or maybe I just like the fresh outdoors so much that it, it doesn't seem strong to me. I don't know. Um, but I would say probably an eight out of 10 for that combination. And I think it's only because the toastiness traveled, traveled. <laughs> um, now this was definitely six or seven out of 10 probably more like a six. So, um, Betsy, that was fantastic. And it was fun together. Okay. Eve, <laughs> back to yours. Um, cause I did this, I did once. Okay. This particular set I did out here from Eve. You guys, <laughs> these empty clams, I can't butter fingers, total butter fingers. Okay. So Eve suggested putting together um, Clean Breeze and My Only Sunshine. Did someone give me this bar or did I get it from a bundle? I think I got it from a Scentsy bundle. Oh, it is pretty. It was briefly in my club and because I have so many and I had to make space, I was like, I don't have to have this. I have other perfumey ones that I love so much. Um, so I sadly kicked it out of my club, but I wish I had stocked up on My Only Sunshine. It's very good. It's a lot like here comes the sunflowers and I think that's why I, I was like well I can let this one go because it's similar enough to my only sun or um here comes the sunflowers but it's like a slightly powdery but sweet perfumey kind of like baby soft do you guys remember that perfume kind of reminds me a little bit of baby soft but um yes Mixed with clean breeze. I loved it. It was so pretty. It was like laundry, but like perfumey laundry. Uh, oh. But I love clean breeze. I love it so much. And it was a day that I had mopped my floors with Johnny Appleseed and it somehow worked. Uh, I mopped my floors with like the all-purpose cleaner with Johnny Appleseed and I put these in the warmer, um, this and this other combo. And I sprayed Scentsy Fresh on my rug and my, um, what do you call that, sectional? <laughs> um, and my curtains, like the window still breathe Scentsy Fresh and it was just like a perfect summer day. It was clean, it was fresh, it was just lovely. <laughs> so that was a great day. And all of those things mixed really well together. So, um, Eve, I loved Clean Breeze and My Only Sunshine together. I wish Scentsy would put, this clam is very, very thin. <laughs> this one's nice and thick and this one's thin. Weird. Um, anyways, <laughs> yes, Eve, that was fantastic. And I wish Scentsy would make that, like add my own, some My Only Sunshine to Clean Breeze and bring it back because that was beautiful. I love that. <laughs> and I still have a little My Only Sunshine left. But, so thank you, Eve. I loved it. And I highly recommend that one. Nice, medium, five, six out of 10 performer. And then I did Angie Smith's mix. And this is why I ordered this from the catalog because I got this from Bring Back My Bar. I don't know if this remained. This might've been one of the bars that, that Scentsy dropped from my club, which is annoying because I would do that mix more often. I do kind of like this. It's very just plain coconut to me, I but I like it. Um, I don't get the coconut rind or... Um, it's just very coconut, just plain coconut to me. Generic kind of coconut, but I like it. So coconut palm with um, clean breeze. This was Angie Smith. She recommended this mix. She's a YouTube channel. I, I'm pretty sure y'all know Angie Smith. 
Angie Smith. But this was fantastic, Angie. I would totally do this again. I had this one in my living room in the Queen Breeze and Miley Sunshine out here. And it was just, I loved it. I loved it. Um, so currently, I think this is all I have. I'm trying to think because my friend Lee wanted some of these and I think I set his aside. Can't remember if this is one he wanted. I'm going to be mad if since he dropped this and I didn't set one aside. I mean, I could give him these four cubes, but that's not the same. Um, I have to go through his box. But anyways, um, another reason why. <laughs> Scentsy. They need to fix it. It's their fault. But um, yeah, so this was fantastic. Great medium performer. Like, I'd say six, seven out of ten. It was wonderful, and I loved it. So I imagine this is what coconut cotton would kind of smell like in laundry. I've never tried coconut cotton in the laundry, although that is a bring back my washer with that's coming back October, maybe. I don't know. I gotta memorize that list, but yeah, I love this. So those were fantastic together. Thank you, Eve and Angie. Oh. Um, oh, let's go over this one. Um, so I did this mix. I got this bar of Thunderstorm. Um, this is from Jeanette. She sent me this. Thunderstorm. I do like this one, but I don't know what it is about the white, the fresh white roses in this one that kind of gives me a headache. And I thought for sure mixed, this one wouldn't give me a headache. It was kind of giving me a headache. There's something about the rose note in here. And it's not like artificial rose. It's like fresh white roses. There's just something about Thunderstorm. I want so bad to love it, and it just wants to give me a headache. But I got this bar of Summer Holiday from Virginia. And Leslie Phillips recommended putting together Thunderstorm and Summer Holiday. This was so pretty. I do wish it wasn't giving me a headache. Uh, so if you're prone to headaches th with Thunderstorm, most people aren't. And normally I'm not, so I don't know why this one wants to give me a headache. Um... Is it the summer holiday? Didn't notice it with that one. I don't think it's summer holiday. I think it's thunderstorm. Yeah, I appreciate this more than I used to. Um, I know you can't get these anymore, you guys, but I, I still, if you guys suggest something, I still write it down just in case people have it in their club, just in case they keep a notebook like me where they want to try things in the future. Um, summer holiday is kind of powdery to me, yet sweet. Kind of like a cotton, cotton candy and cotton candy cookie a little bit with like powder. Anyways, um, it's very pretty summer holiday and thunderstorm. That was actually very pretty. It just kind of started giving me, it was kind of giving me a headache a little bit. It's like where it's on the verge and not quite. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it does that to me, but it's very beautiful. Most of you don't get a headache from Thunderstorm. So definitely try that. If you can get your hands on Summer Holiday and Thunderstorm, try that because it was very pretty. It was a good five, six out of 10. Great medium performer. I did four cubes. So that one I did out here. This mix I did out here, and then this other mix, same bar from Virginia, and this bar I got from Jeanette of Cotton Candy Cookie. Um, it's funny that a Sharpie, you would think it would be permanent, but when these are a little oily, and then when I'm taking them out and I'm breaking them up and putting them back, it smears the Sharpie. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Cotton Candy Cookie and Summer Holiday is a mix suggested by Pamela Petroni. So I did this one in the living room. This was very pretty too. Very pretty mixture together. Um, oh, and that's interesting. Pamela, did you notice when you suggested this 
that cotton candy cookie and summer holidays share that almost kind of cotton candy note. I didn't until just now. Yeah, it has a slight, almost that same sweet cotton candy note that they share, but yet there's a powdery kind of floral to this. Um, yeah, like, like, and then cotton candy cookie has the cookie in it and it's, it's definitely cotton candy. But just that real sweet, almost fruity kind of cotton candy. Anyways, that's a lovely mix. I highly recommend that too. And it was so much fun doing them together. So one room had one mix and one room had the other. And then they kind of met in the middle. And it was beautiful, all of it together. So I love doing the mixes, one room and one room, when they share a common denominator. And both of these shared summer holiday, and I love how they work together. And then like this room had cotton candy cookie mixed with it. This room had thunderstorm mixed with it, and it was just all lovely. <laughs> so I highly recommend that, you guys. So you guys, do you see how these are possible because of you guys? You guys make this possible, not only for your suggestions, but for being so kind to share these bars with me. You guys, <laughs> you guys are precious and I love you guys so much. I hope you feel the prayers that I say for you guys when I'm opening these bars and I'm going, oh God, please bless these guys. More, way more than they could have ever blessed me. Bless them more because um, I definitely can't and I hope God takes care of you guys. Um, and then the last mix, this was so good. <laughs> And I think it's because I love Arctic Kiss and I have missed Arctic Kiss and I've been hanging on to this bar and this was the perfect Melters Mixers to do with it. This bar was in my club. Mm, this one might have gotten cut uh, because of this Scentsy Club thing. Missing part of my brick. Uh, this reminds me a lot of... Um, Scarlet Sunflower, so it's okay. I don't think I I would have kept Beach Daisy anyway, just because it reminds me an awful lot of Scarlet Sunflower. It's just, this is more shampoo, I guess. I actually like this one more. It reminds me of shampoo. And a pretty shampoo. Um, like VO5. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like VO5 shampoo. Anyways, um, Beach Daisy mixed with Arctic Kiss was a suggestion from Mandy Sky 9. I loved this, Mandy. And you would never probably think to put Arctic Kiss with Beach Daisy. Arctic Kiss is, it's such a fresh scent with like this coolness to it. And yet it has the, it's like this creamy, fresh, not quite minty, but it's the mint that, it's like the, vanilla mint that almost makes it creamy and cool, fresh air. It, it's not like perfect peppermint, no, it, but it's like cool, fresh air. Anyways, <laughs> it also has like this honeydew melon note in it. And it's just, you. that's why I think Arctic Kiss is year round amazing. <laughs> But mixed with Beach Daisy, it almost gives it like this laundry vibe. And I can see how this is going to be an LTO, Arctic Kiss. Can I just say that I hate laundry LTOs? And do you know why I hate laundry LTOs? Because it's this little tiny bottle of washer whiffs. And I go through those little tiny jars of washer whiffs like nothing. <laughs> I want, if you're going to do an LTO, do, do tubs. And I'm pretty sure the bring back my washer whiffs are not going to be tubs. And I want tubs. I would buy tubs. The little tiny jars, I'm not sure are worth it. I kind of have to buy Ocean for my son. That's another washer whiff. Bring back my washer whiff that scent. Shimmer was the other one. I have to buy Ocean for my son. But it kind of kills me to spend that money on that little tiny jar and go through them like when... I would easily buy two tubs, three tubs for $30, yes, each of Ocean. And that's what I wanna buy. 
So when Arctic Kick Kiss comes out in laundry in an LTO, don't ask me when, probably holiday. <laughs> um, I want this in a tub. I don't want the tiny jar. I'm going to go through that like nothing and I'm going to be stuck with that laundry liquid and I have to mix it with stuff because I use usually three scoops of washer whiffs. Uh, yeah, because or else I won't smell them. <laughs> and the purpose of washer whips is to smell them. So I go through washer whips like crazy. And the little tiny jar is not enough for me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, rant on washer whips then. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. And it's a, it's like laundry. But the almost like VO5 shampoo feel to Beach Daisy with the Arctic Kiss. Which is like, oh, it's just, it's such a pretty fresh, clean laundry like smell. I need to get more Arctic Kiss. I skipped my club enough <laughs> inadvertently um, and ended up not getting any. I only had this one, I think from when I first started the club and I've been hanging on to it. Oh, I, I think that's how I want to use the rest of Beach Daisy is mixed with Arctic Kiss. It was so good, Mandy Sky Nine. That is so good. So good. So if there are you guys out there that are like, don't really know, I don't really care that much for Beach Daisy, mix it with Arctic Kiss. <gasps> it's so good. <laughs> but I love, I, I love Beach Daisy. I get decent performance and I think it's because I don't really have rugs and I have like throw rugs. I have a throw rug here, throw rug there. And I mostly have wood floors. I think that's why I do well with the scents that struggle. Um, I have kind of sheared curtains. I don't have thick curtains. I don't have a lot of fabrics to soak up scent, I guess. Normal room sizes. I mean, there's, there's a split with the French door. So to me, that's a big doorway. It's almost open concept. Uh, it's like a U shape <laughs> to my house. Yeah, I, I don't know. is so pretty. <laughs> I really love Beach Daisy. I kind of hope it's still in my club, but if not, it's it's okay because I'll be fine. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's how I want to use up the rest of my brick is mixed with Arctic Kiss, you guys. So I hope that was fun. Um, and I'm going to try my darndest to get through the um, tomorrow I'll do my would have been warming, but my melting challenge for August. I'm going to try my best to be as good at it as I was last month with this month in August, this following month. And try and get some more bring back or uh, melters mixers out to you guys. Um, so I've written some more of your ideas on, on pieces of paper here so that I can separate them and melt them. And yeah, so hang in there with me, you guys. Um, you might see another one of these next month. And thank you again for not only gifting bars and making this possible, but um, just all your suggestions so that we can share with one another, all your great ideas. And thanks, guys. And we will see you soon. Bye.